Good morning, everyone. I'm Mam Ann, your science teacher for today. I'm excited to teach you how to part the extension system. Are you ready? So let's start. When we eat, the food has to be changed into nutrients before it can be used out by our body. And the process of breaking down and dissolving food for the use of the body cells is called digestion. And the system that is responsible for this process is the digestive system, made up of groups of organs that work together to food so it can be used by our body. So what are these organs? So number one, we have the mouth. The digestion begins inside our mouth. It is composed of heat, a tongue, and saliva. Our teeth cut the food into smaller pieces. While our tongue helps the food to move inside our mouth when chewing. It also helps the food to push down into our esophagus while swallowing. When chewing, the food is softened and moistened by the saliva coming out from our salivary gland. From our mouth, the food will travel down to our esophagus. It is a long, straight, muscular tube that connects our mouth to our stomach. Did you know that the size of the esophagus is 25 centimeters long? The esophagus squeezes and pushes down the food into our stomach through the contraction and relaxation movement of our muscles. And the squeezing movement of our muscles is called The third organ is our stomach. It is a muscular bug-like organ at the end of our esophagus. It also squeezes the food that we eat and mixes it with gastric juices. These gastric juices inside our stomach in the form of the proteins and all the all microorganisms in the food that we eat. The liver is one of the accessory organs in our digestive system. It releases the bile, which is stored in our gallbladder. And the pancreas releases pancreatic juices that help in the digestion of the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. After the sulfate mixture mixes with this fluid, it will go down to our small intestine. In the small intestine, the final digestion takes place. Digestive juices in the small intestine helps in the digestion of the food that we eat.